This is a publication that comes out of New Jersey, press of AtlanticCity.com. Heroin epidemic, an epidemic within an epidemic, fentanyl reach grows, which is very true. No, today fentanyl is really the leading cause of many of the overdose deaths, and it's because fentanyl is mixed in virtually everything now. It's cheap, it comes from China, and it's very easy to obtain, even through the mail. A lot of fentanyl also um, comes from China to Mexico, and then, <laughs> sorry, it's sent across the U.S. border. So that is another thing that's happening. So no matter how you look at it, the American streets are filled with fentanyl. For the first time since the state started recording drug overdose deaths, fentanyl is the leading cause of the overdoses that occur in New Jersey, right along with heroin. So the real killer clearly is synthetic opioids. And what we know is that it's not only mixed in heroin, but also in cocaine, methamphetamines, and other drugs, says Ocean County prosecutor, Joseph Coronado. I call it the synthetic storm. My belief is that within five years, most or all cases will involve synthetics. And he's right about that. He is absolutely right about that. All right. So less than six years ago in 2012, fentanyl showed up and only 42 drug overdose deaths statewide. By 2016, one in three people who died from an overdose had knowingly or unknowingly taken fentanyl, record shows. Now preliminary state records show fentanyl is on par with heroin as the leading drug in overdose deaths. About 676 people in New Jersey died with fentanyl in their systems from January through June 2017. If that rate continued for the rest of the year, the total will be the most fentanyl involved deaths the state has ever recorded, even outpacing heroin. Final. Specified data for 2017 overdoses are not yet available, but the state attorney's office, the general office, recorded 2,750 total deaths that year, up 24% from the year before, said department spokeswoman Lisa Coriel. Synthetic opioids have been a driving force in the uptick, experts say. And, you know, it has. It has been for, I would say, 2013 all the way up until now. It has been a real uptick in fentanyl over the years. It, it keeps going up. It's not going down at all. What makes fentanyl more deadly than heroin is its potency. Only a single or several granulars of the opioid is enough to be lethal, right? I mean, look, they give it to large animals. I mean, <laughs> what makes you think, especially carfentanil, what makes you think your human body is going to be able to handle that? It usually can't, but see, it is a ongoing need for drug addicts to be as high as possible, to top the last high they were on. Coronado said about 80% of people in Ocean County who have died from an overdose this year so far tested positive for synthetic opioids. Not everybody is able to hand to not handle it, Coronado said, nor can. Can work at first, but we're off. Where fentanyl lasts and can cause continued overdose which is why people really need to go to the hospital. Okay, 
Yeah, because um, Narcan actually wears off in about a half hour. They may not be able to stop people from taking substances with fentanyl. Um, Babette Richard, arch nurse with the South Jersey AIDS Alliance in Atlantic City, said they can try to prevent more deaths. New Jersey syringe access program, including the one run by the AIDS Allegiance, with guidance and funding from the State Department of Health, started providing clients with fentanyl testing strips and awareness education in July. The strips, which are being used by other state and city health departments in California, Philadelphia, and Columbus, Ohio, are commonly used to detect the presence of fentanyl in urine during drug testing. So they now have these fentanyl strips that are out. Interesting. Public health experts have repur repurposed the strips to detect fentanyl in drug samples by directing people to mix water with residue left over from drugs and let the strip sit in water for up to five minutes. If one line shows up, fentanyl is present. People should not consider using the drug or take precautions and make sure someone can deliver Narcan if needed, health officials say. You know, that Narcan is like their lifeline. They can't live without that. If Narcan was taken away, oh my goodness. Woo, I think the deaths would probably quadruple overnight if they didn't have access to that Narcan. And they better pray that, because the fentanyl analog is constantly changing. And they better pray that it doesn't change into something that makes the Narcan totally ineffective. You know, the way things are going these days, you, you can't rule that out at all. Experts say some people with addictions purposely seek out fentanyl and similar compounds like carfentanil because they don't need to buy as much to get the same high. But mixing drugs for illegal sales is an imperfect science. The presence or quantity of fentanyl is often unknown, especially by people buying it and using it. Getting synthetic opioids off the streets is difficult. Cape May County Prosecutor Jeffrey Sutherland said, they're often already mixed into other substances and they are um, difficult to detect coming in the country. And we know that because people are constantly buying this stuff online. It's cheaper, easier to hide, easier to transport, easier to conceal, he said. Officials with the state attorney's general office earlier this year said massive quantities of fentanyl were being trafficked into New Jersey. Authorities seized 31 pounds of fentanyl, equivalent to 5 million lethal doses, in Camden in March, much of which came through the mail from China, they said. All we hear is that the stuff is lightning. Only one little granular added. It makes the stuff much more powerful, Cardinato said, because it's chemically prepared. You need so little of it to affect the whole batch. And it's absolutely deadly and it's killing people. Well, they don't care. One thing about drug addicts, you can tell them those drugs are going to kill them and they're going to keep right on doing the drug. I mean, I mean, come on. You could sit in a drug addict's face right now and say, you know, that stuff is going to kill you. They will keep right on getting high. We all know that. They don't care about you telling them it's deadly or they shouldn't use it. They don't care. They want to be high. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. This is definitely something very interesting. But 
deadly. And it's not just New Jersey. This is a clear example of what's going on nationwide. You know, it doesn't matter how much they try to undercount the numbers, ladies and gentlemen. It is very clear that this drug mixed in with other drugs, this fentanyl mixed in with other drugs, it is a just a killing combination, period. Fentanyl is deadly. Exposure to an amount equivalent to a few grains of sand can kill you. Illegal fentanyl is causing a crisis in our nation. It is 40 to 50 times more potent than heroin. It is extremely dangerous to users and to those who simply come into contact with it. If you're a first responder, that could be you. What does fentanyl look like? It's a plain white powder. It looks a lot like traditional heroin, which looks a lot like basic cooking flour. Fentanyl is often mixed with heroin or, in some cases, even with cocaine. We also see fentanyl being pressed into pill form. Counterfeit pills that resemble things such as oxycodone and Xanax could contain fentanyl. And whether in pill or powder form, fentanyl is exceptionally dangerous. absorbed into the bloodstream through your skin, through mucous membranes, or by touching your mouth, nose, or eyes after exposure or even by accidentally breathing tiny amounts of airborne powder. And symptoms of exposure can include drowsiness, disorientation, difficulty breathing, pinpoint pupils, and clammy skin. As the fentanyl threat increases, so does the risk to you. Something that looks like heroin could be pure fentanyl. Assume the worst. Don't touch this stuff or the wrappings that it comes in without the proper personal protective equipment. Police canine handlers must also be careful. Your dogs are vulnerable too. If you think you've been exposed to fentanyl, seek medical attention immediately. Fentanyl acts very fast in the bloodstream. Notify medical personnel immediately that you or someone with you may have been exposed. Naloxone or Narcan can reverse the effects of fentanyl. However, multiple injections may be necessary. And make sure you get medical attention after. Please be safe. Help us spread the word. But first, listen to these two police officers from New Jersey. They're going to tell you what happened to them. They're okay, but it could have been tragic. In the process of sealing the bag, um, just out of force of habit, I, I grabbed the bag and I closed it up, forcing the air out of it so I get a good seal. And when I did that, a uh, bunch of it poofed up into the air right into our face, and we ended up inhaling it. I felt like my body was shutting down. Um, and I, people around me said that I looked really white and lost color. Um, and it, it just really felt like, I thought, thought that was it, I thought I was dying. That was, that's, that's what my body felt like. If I can imagine or describe a feeling where your body's completely shutting down and, and you know, preparing to uh, stop, stop living, you know, that's, 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 where, that's the feeling I felt. You actually felt like you were dying. You're, you couldn't breathe very disoriented um, and every, everything, everything you did was exaggerated in your mind, I guess. It was, uh, it, was, it was the most bizarre feeling that I never ever would want to feel again, to be honest with you. And it was just, it was just a little, little bit, it was just a little bit of powder just puffed up in the air. It wasn't like you know, we were, the whole bag had dumped out or anything like that. It was just a very minuscule amount. And uh, that's, that's the scary thing about it. It was, um, it was so quick and such a small amount that you know, we didn't even have time to think. 